This week on Wildcat News, we attend the homecoming dance. We talk with students about Powder Puff. And we find out who was crowned on homecoming court. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnston. I'm Miranda Bean. And I'm Allison Wade. On Friday, October 4th, students gathered in the cafeteria to attend the homecoming dance. Allison Wade reports. On October 4th, students danced the night away at the Revival Homecoming Dance. Senior Cameron Potiger talks about what went into setting up the event. So this is Wes Johnson's first homecoming dance, and it was very difficult to set up, but it was a, well worth it, I think. Like, I think everyone's going to enjoy it, everyone's going to have a really good time. It was a lot of work behind the scenes, um, but I'm very thankful for the team that I had to help me set it all up. Potiger shares her hopes for the dance. Um, the first year, I don't think that as many people will come to this as will come to prom, but I think once people see how this goes, then maybe next year they will want to come to this one. Senior Caroline Carlson explains the differences between her experience with prom and homecoming. So prom is different from homecoming because prom is like a lot more planned out. Like they start planning prom right after prom, like for the next year. So with homecoming, it was very like, I feel like kind of spur of the moment. Like we didn't even know if we were having one until like two weeks before the date. Um, it's also prom is a lot more formal than homecoming. Homecoming is a lot more like laid back with little cocktail dresses, like button ups. Probably a lot less expensive. Carlson thinks that homecoming should continue due to its success. And I loved homecoming. I thought the SGA did a really good job of setting it up and I thought it was really fun. I had a lot of fun. I know my friends had a lot of fun and I saw like on social media that so many people were saying how much fun they had. So I think we should definitely do it again and I know we all wanted it. I'm Allison Wade, Wildcat News. Last week on Tuesday, the Powder Puff game was held. Katherine Green gives insight. Last week, students and staff came out to attend the annual Petterpuff football game. Senior Caitlin Young was a player and reflects on her last Petterpuff experience. It's hard being a senior. You have your last everything for high school, last with these group of women. You're about to go off to college, separate from everybody else. Tuesday night was really fun. I was focused on having fun, making sure my senior team won, and just having a good night. Sophomore Cameron Sneed describes how it felt to play a part in Petterpuff. Petterpuff makes people it brings out the best in people. It makes them happy to do it. Some people are too nervous to do it, but they should just do it anyways because it's really fun. Freshman Madison Aragon explains the strengths of her team and how they work together. Different athletes, we can like contribute different skills to the team. So that was nice, like having different people stronger, playing different positions. Young shares her favorite part about Powder Puff. My favorite part about Powder Puff is probably not only meeting new people, having new people on the teams, but definitely seeing some of the freshmen that are new to high school. They've not been here but two months, not even come out on a football field and play in front of a bunch of people they don't know. Especially for the freshmen, they're going up against seniors for their first game. It's, I, I know that's hard. And seeing them come out and just not caring what other people are thinking, just to come have fun on a Tuesday night is, is pretty awesome. I'm Katherine Green, Wildcat News. Thanks, Katherine. On Friday, students attended a pep rally in preparation for the homecoming game.
The anticipation of who will win homecoming court is over as the winners were crowned on Friday night. Last Friday, homecoming court winners were announced. Junior Kenny Daddy was crowned Prince for the junior class and shares how it felt to win. It was a real big honor. You know, I was flattered. I'm very grateful for everyone that voted for me. I wasn't really expecting to win. I was really just happy and grateful enough to be on the court and acknowledged by the others and by my peers to be voted. But when I won, it was a big surprise and I was very grateful for it. Senior Skyler Vega Rodriguez was crowned homecoming queen and shares how she feels Spirit Week and homecoming brought students together. Past generations of the school that graduated, like the alumni and everything, they always come and support the younger generations. And it, it really brings everyone together just by all of the excitement. Dowdy and Rodriguez reflect on their experience. The atmosphere was just great. The student section, everybody coming out was just great. All the returning graduates from West, it teaches you to be grateful and hard work really does pay off. Whether it's playing football or just being a better person to other people, it just shows how far you can get in life. My favorite part of this experience was having all of my friends support, um, kind of like that high school movie type thing where you just like, everybody go vote for me, go nominate me, and actually achieving it. Rodriguez and Dowdy were both pleased with how the night turned out. I know that a lot of the students were actually participating. Everyone was really excited, everyone was taking pictures, and overall just sharing this experience. I feel like it brings the school together. It lets you know people who you really don't think you'd be friends with actually become friends, and it just lets it really show off your school spirit. I'm Marin Bean, Wildcat News. Well, that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads, email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home, on the go, or catch up on past episodes, go to wjstudentmedia.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Allison Wade. And I'm Miranda Bean. Thanks for watching and have a great week.